ashford.com hello and welcome to ashford.com you are watching an interesting video on natural libido enhancement using ac pressure natural and instinctive form of psychic energy please read the disclaimer carefully Lower libido can be a lifelong problem, or it can occur after years of normal sexual drive. Physical factors such as certain medications, chronic diseases, pain and even aging negatively affect our sexual urges. Having low libido is not the same as experiencing total male or female impotence. People with low libido are perfectly capable of performing the physical act of lovemaking, it's just that their urge to make love has decreased. Psychological factors play a more prominent role in the loss of libido. Depression, anxiety, feelings of insecurity, insomnia and exhaustion are all causes of low libido. The male libido is greatly affected by anxiety. Performance anxiety and anxiety-induced impotence can cause a vicious, vicious cycle in decreasing a man's libido. Feeling accepted and loved and feeling trust and security are crucial elements of libido enhancement. The loss of female libido is sometimes referred to as female impotence. Female impotence is a name for a variety of female sexual dysfunctions, including decreased female libido. Low female libido is often caused by feelings of insecurity, including poor body image. Feelings of security, trust, acceptance and intimacy will increase female libido. Modern Western medicine may discount the curative abilities of acupressure, but the use of this holistic health technique has been well established in Eastern medicine for over 5,000 years. Acupressure is the application of pressure to certain points on the body to alleviate pain, indigestion, anxiety, fear and numerous other complaints. It is built on the theory of acupuncture and uses the same pressure points. These pressure points are based on the concept of qi and meridian flow. Qi is essentially our life force, the essence of our being. This life force is found in all things including the air, water and fire. It is the thing that makes us one with the world and our environment. The Chinese say that to be to be dead is to be in a body without qi. Our qi flows along pathways in our bodies known as meridians. These meridians can be likened to the ocean currents. Just as the flow of the ocean's currents affect the climate of the world, so the flow of our chi through our meridians affects the climate of our emotions and health. The constant flow of chi throughout our bodies is essential to our health and well-being. When blockages occur in our meridians, the essential life force of chi is diminished on that pathway. Much as a blood clot restricting the flow of our life bringing blood will cause disease and or death to the affected organs, the blockage of our chi will, ca will cause disharmony and discord to our bodies and life. There are 12 main meridians that correspond to 12 vital organs, such as heart, lungs and liver. There are also 8 lesser meridians that connect and interconnect the 12. The pressure points used in acupressure are found at connecting points in the meridian flow and at spots where the flow is close to the skin. Applying a firm and steady pressure to these points allows the body to relax, reducing tension and anxiety while increasing blood flow. Although the main meridians correspond to cer certain organs, the Chinese believe that these organs are linked to certain emotions. Physical and mental is not separated, but is seen as a whole in Chinese medicine and they are treated holistically as a whole, not as separate systems, but as complementary ones. Let's look at how our emotions relate to our organs in Chinese medicine. Emotions associated with blocked qi flow As you can see in the above chart, the chances of having a strong libido increase greatly with good qi flow. And, if you have good qi flow, you become a much more attractive mate. A cycle will begin between you and your partner of feeling good about yourself and each other and of feeling increasing trust and happiness. As you feel better about yourself, 
your world and your partner, and when you see the same changes in your partner, I guarantee your libido and your partner's libido will increase. Your newfound joy and confidence may even lead you to places you have never been before. To perform acupressure you will want to apply a firm pressure for 1 to 3 minutes to each point. You will know you have the correct place because it will feel sore than the surrounding areas. You should apply pressure until you experience a sensation that is between pleasure and pain. If you experience all pain, let up slightly and until the pressure feels good, but still a little sore. Depending on the size of the pressure point you may want to use the tip of a finger, the tip of a knuckle or the eraser end of a pencil. A firm, steady pressure is good to strengthen weak and chi. This steady pressure energizes and enhances chi. If the chi is blocked, it is best to apply firm pressure while slowly rubbing the spot with a counterclockwise motion. This pressure kicks kick starts the flow of chi and helps to clear the meridians. The chi can then bring its life essence throughout the body. The heart. Known as the spirit gate, heart 7 it truly the gate of the spirit. When the gate is closed, one is irritable, anxious and restless. The heart is confined by the gate and unable to rest. The rest of the body is deprived of the heart's presence. Insomnia, anxi anxiety and depression ensue. Harmony is disrupted and chaos is soon to set in. To maintain peace and harmony in life, the spirit gate must remain clear. When this gate is open love, joy and fun will exist in your life. Heart 7 is found on the interior of the wrist about 1 to 2 inches below the crease where the hand meets the wrist. It is located in the center of the wrist between the tendons. Apply pressure and gently massage your finger in a circular motion. Continue this action for 1 to 2 minutes. You will find your mind clearing and your heart lift. The liver. Many people experience a great energizing surge through their body when liver 3 is activated. The great surge helps to decrease fatigue, alleviate insomnia and lessen pain. The use of acupressure here will soothe you and free you. Your irritability will melt away leaving you feeling calm and calm and secure. Liver 3 is located on the top of the foot between the big toe and the second toe. Run your finger down until you are at the point that the bones meet. Apply pressure and slowly rub your finger up towards the ankle and then back to the point. Only move your finger one half inch or less while The lung. The central treasury is a meeting place for many of the meridians. It is where the back meets the front, and where the liver and spleen connect with the lung. Acupressure to lung 1 will assist in the relief of depression and to reduce feelings of contempt and regret. Opening the central treasury allows a breath of fresh air into your life. This allows for renewal and reconnection. You will find yourself cheerful and more tolerant and open-minded. Lung 1 is found the chest, just below the collarbone by the shoulder. Hold your arm out straight and you will feel the triangle of muscle in which lung 1 resides. Press into the triangle with a steady, firm pressure for about 1 minute. Then massage slowly in a counterclockwise motion for another minute. The Kidney Gushing spring draws the chi downward as if water in a waterfall. If there are excesses of chi above, gushing spring will draw them down and keep you grounded. Pressing on kidney one will lessen fear and anxiety and increase your feelings of security. It enhances feelings of loyalty loyalty while alleviating paranoia. Kidney 1 is found on the bottom of the foot between the second and third toes. Run your finger down between the toes until you come to the end of the fore pad on your foot. Kidney 1 will be at the central point of the pad about one third of the way down the foot. Apply firm pressure for one minute and then slowly massage in a counterclockwise motion for one minute. There are many more points in acupressure that are good for natural libido enhancement. I like to use these techniques in conjunction with massage. The rhythmic stroking of massage coupled with the almost painful pressure of acupressure is a good mix between total relaxation and overwhelming tension. Have fun trying these, these techniques while you open your life to new possibilities. You and your partner will enjoy the energizing yet relaxing effects of acupressure. 
Thank you for watching this interesting and informative video. This channel offers motivational, inspirational, valuable and informative videos to soothe, cleanse and inspire your health, mind, body and spirit. You can find lot of interesting videos on wide range of topics here. Stay tuned and keep watching.